What is flu? To you and me, flu is a nasty cold which makes you feel rather feverish and achy and which maybe makes you go to bed. So a lot of those flu-like illnesses are not really due to flu. So technically what flu is, is infection with the influenza virus. Where does the flu virus actually infect you? Well, it gets into the sort of moist bits around your nose and eyes and, uh, and your upper respiratory tract, but also into your lungs. So different sized droplets get into different parts and you can pick it up in your hands and rub your eyes and get infected that way too. So it's, a, it's pretty good at getting in. It's a really pretty marvellous spreader. So when someone's become extremely ill with flu like that, I mean, what is the underlying cause? Is that because it's, is it your immune response that's causing this? Or is it because the virus is just doing so well at getting into your cells? Well, it's really a combination. So to get a, to get a dangerous response to flu, I think there's no doubt that a high viral load, you know, the virus multiplying well, is a sort of prerequisite. But along with that, you've got um, an over-exuberant immune response from the, from the host, the so-called uh, immunological storm or cytokine storm. And that's thought to be a contributor to why there's such severe tissue damage. So it's a combination of a, of a bad virus killing lots of cells and the, and the host fighting back vigorously and maybe over-vigorously in some instances. How then do pandemics occur? So with pandemics, Influenza has this, this unusual ability to really mutate fast and also to sort of restack the deck of cards so that it can constantly change and evolve. So if you get a really novel strain to which there aren't many people immune at all, then it can spread quickly around the world and cause um, outbreaks in all, all parts of the globe. And that's, that's really the definition of a pandemic. It's not defined according to how many people die, but just according to how many regions are affected. So you've said that uh, flu is different from a cold and all these other respiratory kinds of viruses that we get, but these all happen in the winter as well, as does flu. So why is there this winter season? Well, of course, the winter season depends on which part of the world you're in. Um, but generally, when there's low levels of ultraviolet light and people congregate together in enclosed spaces to get away from bad weather, and maybe humidity <clears throat> varies between different seasons. All of those together tend to make these things fluctuate around the year. It affects some viruses more than others. So rhinoviruses, you can get summer colds, but uh, some viruses are really strictly just winter viruses. What are your prevention tactics for catching flu? The best proven method is to get vaccinated. And we are increasing the number of people who are recommended for vaccination year on year. How effective is the vaccination against you actually catching flu? The vaccines are not, not as good as they should be. I mean, the vaccines do provide about 65% protection, um, but they don't work if the, um, if the judgment call is wrong about what should be included in the vaccine. So there's, there's, there's a lot of improvement that could be made to those vaccines. We, what we really want is a vaccine which, you know, single shot protects you for life against all strains of flu. That's a long way off.